the only trick you need to know to be able to pin vertical pins directly from your Etsy listings directly to your Pinterest account without making Pinterest mad. Let me show you. So if you watched my previous video on how to connect your Etsy account to a Pinterest account, you know that I mentioned that Pinterest hates horizontal pins, okay? They prefer vertical pins and to be precise, they prefer two types of pins. The first being uh, your standard as you take pictures on your phone, 1980 by 1080 pixels. And the second recommended type of pin is 1000 by 1500 pixels. So whichever you choose, it's up to you, but do know that Pinterest prefers vertical pins. The problem with Etsy is when you share your product from your Etsy listing, you share your listing pictures, okay? And your listing pictures are either square or uh, they are four by three ratio, which is uh, kind of a, a little bit longer than, than square. Let me show you the only trick you need to know to be able to pin vertical pins that Pinterest will love you for. Uh, directly from your Etsy listings directly to your Pinterest account. Let me switch to my computer here. Okay, so there are two parts to this trick and the first one is you'll need a Chrome extension which is called Pinterest save button, okay? And the way you will get it will be by going simply to Google and typing in Google extensions and it will pop up Google extension store. Just click on that and go to the first link Chrome web store uh, in the search bar over here, just type in Pinterest. You will need to download the first one or um, it should be the first one uh, on your end as well. It's called Pinterest save button. Okay, just click on that. And over here, instead of remove from Chrome, because I do already have it, you will have um, something like install extension or add extension. You will click on that button. Once it's installed, I'm gonna show you how it works. So basically, wherever you go, whichever website you go to, for example, you find something that you really, really love. Let's say you love this coffee, all right? This is just an example of how this uh, button works. Let's say you love this coffee and you wanna pin it to one of your boards on Pinterest. You will hover over this save uh, red save button over here and an amazing thing about this extension is it pulls up all of your boards from from your Pinterest account and you can just directly from here uh, pin it to any of your boards on Pinterest without you going to Pinterest and creating a new pin and finding you know the image that you love from Target and copying their website link you know all of that stuff so how it works with Etsy is for example, on Etsy, let's let's take any listing. So this particular seller, they have square pictures, all right? If you were to share this uh, on Pinterest, to Pinterest, you would end up having square pins like this. So if you go on Pinterest, you will see uh, different types of pins. For example, this one is, I think it's an idea pin. Let's see. Oh no, it's just a regular pin, but it's formatted with that regular, you know, your phone's format 1980 by, uh, 1080 pixels and for example this one is 1000 by 1500 pixels it's it's a standard pin um, that Pinterest loves and they love this one as well what they don't like is this one and it says Etsy this pin was probably shared directly from the Etsy shop and uh, that's why it's in this format because probably this person uh, has their listing their listing photos in this format yeah and this one as well this one as well and this one as well so yeah this was shared directly from your Etsy shop and if you don't know how to do that let me show you quickly how it's done let's go to let's say we want to share this product on Pinterest all right all of my pictures are square because I chose this way to have them all square because my website requires square and I don't want to do listing photos for Etsy separately so this works for me. So the way you share your product listing to Pinterest is simply by going uh, into one of your into one of your products and you will see the listing tools bar over here and only you will be able to see it because you logged in into your account and you just click on the save button it will pull up your Pinterest account and you can just save it to one of your boards that you have in your account let's save it to this board and see how it looks saved to all pins 
and this is how it looks this is how it will look on the Pinterest board as well over here on the main feed and in comparison to the Pinterest preferred format which is this one and when you search on Pinterest it's harder for the eye to catch on all of this little square images all right you can miss out on them all right now the trick is when you create your listing this one for example let's edit you will want to add a photo which is going to be your vertical pin that you want to show up on your Pinterest account okay and the reason is let's ju just do a, a simple um, I don't know this is a vertical image all right let's pretend it's your product you will have one or a few of the uh, vertical images on your listing what you do is you click on that vertical image all right on your listing and you hover over the save button and you save it to you know the appropriate board on your Pinterest account and boom you have your vertical pin directly pinned directly from your Etsy listing directly to your Pinterest account without you going to your Pinterest account creating a new pin attaching a vertical image um, attaching your website URL and all of that stuff you just can save your vertical image from your listing directly from your Etsy shop all right and let me show you how it works we save it to whatever ceramic max I'm gonna delete it later and it's going to save maybe today okay so I refreshed my page and as you can see it's vertical and it looks good and you didn't have to do anything besides just trick the formatting of your Etsy listing a little bit and you have a beautiful pin there you have it that's my trick I hope you liked it and if you did let me know by liking subscribing all that stuff it really helps my channel you know I'm trying to grow it and share all my experiences uh, as I go uh, through this journey and yeah I will see you in my next video.